your girl Q the Braider back with another tutorial. So today I have my natural hair model here in front of me and today we'll be performing a drum roll please <laughs> heatless ponytail. This particular service is for the curly girls. Those of you who are scared to put heat on your hair, you're afraid of heat damage, you want to keep everything intact, this is for you. Okay. So you guys know how I like to do, just get straight into the video because y'all came here for it, to learn something. So let's learn. You're going to need a dimming or a detangling brush. You're going to need a comb for parting. And then you're going to need an even bigger comb for um, getting back through those tangles again. We are going to need a spray bottle. This is for when your client's hair starts to get a little bit dry. You want to be able to mist on some water to prevent it from snagging. This is for... Slicking the hair. If you don't got this, you need to go ahead and pick up this Shine and Jam because this does wonders. It's one of my favorite products. All braiders on the market have this. So go ahead and pick you up some Shine and Jam if you don't have it. Oil, of course, oil of your choice. And then you're going to need hair ties or rubber bands to slick the ponytail. Okay, so here I am just going to part my client's hair down the middle. I love to work in sections with natural hair. This has been the easiest for me. Since dealing with natural hair, I never like to work all in one setting because it's just too much at once. So you want to make sure you're gentle on your client's curls. Do not snatch them. Just gently separate them when parting. And actually, I did not mention this in the products, but you will definitely need clamps to move the hair out the way that you're currently not working on. Just tuck that down like that. So on one end, I'm going to go ahead and split this one half section into two. Again, with natural hair, when you're working, you want to work in sections because this will make the whole process easier. So I'm looking at her hair now and just by eyeing it, I can see that the bottom is still pretty moist and wet and it's drying closer to the middle. So we're just gonna go ahead and use our handy dandy spray bottle to just get this back wet. You want to work on this style while the hair is wet. I'm going to take my detangling comb and we're just going to comb all these curls together. We're trying to clump them. When dealing with natural hair, you always start on the end and then you work your way up to the root. Take your time. If this is a natural hair client, they're very sensitive about their curls and their hair. So don't rush on this surface at all. We have one section detangled. So there you have that. And for this particular ponytail, I'm going to be doing a low one. Is that okay? You blow? Hi. Okay. We're going to do a low ponytail. So therefore, I'm just going to go ahead and section off the whole back of her head. So we're going to work from back to front. So again, same step is wherever you see the hair drying at, you're just going to apply more water. My favorite right here. Whew. So one thing I like about this using this product with this service is that this is also a water-based product. So this go hand in hand with the no heat ponytail we're about to do. So I'm just going to finger part a small section. Don't forget to be gentle when separating the curls. Do not force them apart. We don't want to rip the client's hair. I'm also going to do the same thing on this side. So this, there is no science to this part. You're just going to get some sections to work with. You're going to get your Shine and Jam or water-based product if you want to use something alternative and you're just going to start slicking the roots down. So the reason why we're parting through is because we want the hair to lay flat. If you rush this and just try to slap it out on the top, it will not be flat and it will not be sleek. This is the side with the product. This is the side without the product. So I'm sure you guys see the difference. Okay, so we 
have one section done. I'm just about to repeat this throughout her whole head. Well, I'm gonna do the back first. I'm gonna repeat this throughout the back of her head. So you guys just look. <laughs> according to how your client will like their baby hair. So she had explained to me that she want to be dramatic. So we're about to be dramatic or go home because that's the only option with me. <laughs> so because my client have thick curly hair, we're going to ponytail it in different sections. So here's where you're gonna need your hard brush. This right here. And we're going to just make sure everything is smooth and in place again this is not a rush process don't rush it or you will be mad at the outcome you want to take your time make sure everything is smooth and do it the right way so molding it always mold in the direction that you want the ponytail to go so for instance if you want it an up ponytail you're going to mold it up so since hers is down we're molding it down and molding it basically all that it does is it helps place your ponytail so therefore when it's time to put the rubber band or the ponytail holder on there you don't have to grip it with so much tension to prevent breakage you're going to take your rubber bands and you're going to oil them before you place them on your hair or your client's hair so thank me later for this right here that's why y'all here to learn tips and tricks any oil of choice i'm just using castor oil nothing major and you're going to just rub the oil all over so you have this now nice and oily another plus with oil in the rubber band because now you're also placing oil on the client's hair which is a good sealant so you got to get in a good stance for this right here hold for just a little bit you don't want to place the ponytail on the nape of the nape of the neck because you will get those little tight bumps back there and we don't want that. So you're going to place it a little bit above um, her hairline in the back. So you're going to get a good fist grip and you're going to place the ponytail on once you feel comfortable with the gripping. So you want the ponytail to be secure and not super tight. So make sure you're rubber banding as close to the scalp as possible. So as you're pulling the hair through, you're also, you're also pushing the rubber band close to the scalp. This will be effortless if you guys mold the hair in the direction you want the ponytail to go. So as you see her hair is sliding off of the rubber band, that's the point of the oil because we don't want to cause any breakage. And there you guys have it. Now the same steps that we did on the back here, we're about to repeat for the front. Welcome back to the front of her head. So we're going to spike this ponytail up a bit. My client has requested a zigzag part. So I'm here for, I love different things. So that's what we're about to do. As you guys can see here, as I'm parting, I'm gently separating the curls. I cannot stress this enough. Gently separate, do not get aggressive, do not snag. The whole purpose of this style is for it to be protective. Protect your curls. So soothing. If you don't fall asleep in my chair, I'm telling you it's like angels on my head. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing something right. Okay, there we go. So here we are, middle part. I'm about to zigzag it on up. <music> So it's the go from her, so we're going to keep going. Before we get to slicking anything in the front, you want to go ahead and pull out your client's baby hair. We're being dramatic today. So the more the better. Disclaimer, we have adult baby hair here. This is <laughs> their extendos. <laughs> this is no no longer infant 
sound. <laughs> I did not cut that. <laughs> check your baby hairs to make sure you didn't get those in the ponytail and you want to gently just slide them out if you oil your rubber band the hair will slide right out oh that looks so good so good uh uh so good uh 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 so here we have it one side done in a ponytail so it's time to do the other side So let me show you guys what, what to do to smooth it over. Let me make sure this is on her tight. That is on her tight. You're going to get your water and you want this to be as flat as possible before applying the braid. Mm -hmm. fist it somewhere and you're gonna do one side shorter than the other you're going to place the shortest side up can you hold this for me yes and then the longer side you want that going down so from here you want to take your rubber band you're going to take your ponytail holder anything of choice and you're going to wrap well, secure, let me say that. You're going to secure the braiding hair to your client's ponytail. And just take your time. You don't want to get the braiding hair tangled. So this is going to be a little bit tedious. Okay, pull it all the way through. Do not rush it. Once your braiding hair gets tangled, it's over with. So you definitely want to take your time on this part. Okay, that's about as tight as we're going to get it. Again, this is a protective style, so you don't want it too tight. And I still managed to get my braiding hair a little tangled, okay? Don't be like me. Take your time. So, <laughs> so I'm just going to lightly detangle. Over on the side, we're going to have the extra hair that we're going to feed into the ponytail. So just keep watching to see how I do this. From the short piece, you're going to leave one thick, thick piece. Out. Okay, so I'm going to leave this piece up here. Okay, so we have one, two, and three. And we're about 
have to start braiding. So from here, your only task is to cover her, her natural hair while braiding. Every time you braid a loop, you're going to stop and make sure the braiding hair is covering her natural hair.